understand But I make the deal, you I'm your only fan And I ain't gonna pay any money And this one looks to see you Tongue go down between your chest Evidently innocent But you ain't new to this I'm just good at what I do No, no, no In my ear, I hear you sing Okay, you guys, so I'm getting right into the video. I'm gonna start off using my BioSilk Serum, and I'm gonna put that all over my hair and my ends. I've had my hair straight for about two and a half weeks now, so it's a little bit crusty. I'm gonna be washing it this weekend, so I just wanna refresh the roots because my roots did get poofy. So I'm gonna go in with my Tropic Touches Oil. This is my hair growth oil that I use to keep my edges stimulated and moisturized. I'm gonna go in with my Tresemme heat protectant because I am gonna be using my hot comb to hot comb these roots. I'm just gonna brush that in and wait for it to dry down a little bit before I start. Then I'm gonna go in with my hot comb. I got this hot comb from Amazon, so you guys can check Amazon. I'm gonna try to link it down below in my comment section or in my description box if I can find it. And I'm just going to hot comb my roots. I'm not really gonna pass it on my ends just because I don't wanna get heat damage, but my roots are basically back to poofy so i'm just gonna do the perimeter of my hair and then i'm gonna remove the baby hairs because i don't want the edges to be in the ponytail i want to do that separate from the ponytail once i do that i'm just gonna brush the hair into the ponytail height that i want it to be and i want it to be kind of at the top of my head but not too high so just at the back area at the top and then i'm gonna put that in a ponytail just a loose ponytail. I'm going in with my Got To Be High Insta Hold Spray and I'm gonna use that to start molding down this ponytail. So when I spray it, I'm just gonna brush it, brush it in with a soft brush and then I'm going to put a little bit more, brush it in and then I'm gonna blow it with my blow dryer on cool air. Cool air is very important because that's what's gonna bulletproof and dry this. And if I do hot air, I think it's gonna make my hair sweat and I don't have time for that. I'm gonna just turn around so I can do the back. I didn't do too much at the back just because I wasn't being too serious with this hairstyle. But if you actually wanna wear this out, I do recommend doing a fairly good amount of spray on the back. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my real pony. So now that I had that fake ponytail in, now I'm gonna go in and reinforce a tighter ponytail with a smaller Band. now i'm gonna go ahead and touch that up i'm using some more of the spray and the blow dryer just to make sure that this is nice and smooth and i'm just talking to my love i'm gonna go ahead and do my baby hairs so for the edges i did use the ebon extra strength edge control i didn't show you guys that but you are gonna see it when i'm doing my braid you're gonna see i showed you a little clip of it but that's the edge control in the brown and purple packaging is the ebon edge control in the brown and purple packaging so i'm gonna leave this let it play out so you guys can follow along with me when i'm doing the edges because i did this like a wig kind of so i'm gonna leave this to play in real time and i'm just gonna play some music so you guys can follow along with this step very self-explanatory but i understand if you guys want to watch the tutorial Say you fun like work Cause don't nobody like work and then once I'm done, I wanted it to look like this So I have three different sections And I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side Ooh, uh, Said you wanna feel like it's your birthday all day yeah. You said you wanna feel like it's your birthday all day Said you wanna feel like it's your birthday all day that down i got this scarf from 
one of the hair companies that I review for. And now I'm gonna go ahead and do my braid. So for the braid, I'm gonna be using this braiding hair. This is the Free Tress braiding hair in the number one. It's the one that has three in a pack and it's a 28 inch. So this is how it looks. And I'm gonna be using all three of these. You can use two, I recommend using two because this ponytail was kind of heavy. So I'm just pulling the ends just to make sure that it's a little bit more long. You don't even have to do that because we're gonna be doing a feed in braid. So I'm gonna loop my hair tie through and then just pull it through the hole. That's how I attach it. And once you do that, we're gonna tie this around our base of our ponytail. And this is gonna give you a long ponytail. So it looks like that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my ponytail. And once it's secured, I'm gonna take a little piece out from the back and this is what's gonna wrap around the base of the ponytail just to make sure that it's nice and clean and you're not gonna see any mistakes. Hold that out of the way and part your hair into three sections, making sure that your natural hair is above it. So you see how I'm holding piece of my natural hair above that ponytail? That's what's gonna make it as seamless as possible and make it look like your real hair. So now I'm gonna go ahead and braid. This is not really a braiding tutorial because I don't know how to explain what I'm doing, but I'm just crisscrossing back and forth. Crisscross back and forth. I'm gonna leave it to play in real time so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. And then I'm just gonna braid it out. You can go ahead and add some jam and stuff if your hair is sticking out like mine is, but I didn't. And now I'm gonna take that hair that we took out in the start and I'm going to wrap it around the base of the ponytail. And as you can see, this looks very natural. So I recommend doing that. And once you're done wrapping, you can use a bobby pin to pin it down. Make sure when you're pinning it, you're pinning upwards so it's not gonna poke you in your scalp. And this is how it's looking. I like it so much, but I wanted it to be a little bit longer. So I'm getting the second pack. I don't recommend doing this this big because it was a little bit heavy so you can do two packs and just like break it up into different pieces so i break that pack into two and i'm just going to add it onto my braid just to make it be longer but i wanted to go ahead and fix up this ponytail again this is the edge control i was telling you about i don't recommend using this edge control for your ponytail just because it turned white on me so don't use this edge control you could use like gel or something else so while I'm braiding, I'm going to go ahead and start adding in the hair that I parted into two. And I'm adding it in like a feed-in type of braid. So I'm putting it at the back and I'm braiding. And the hair that's at the back, I let it go and I braid and then I start like just adding it in like that. I don't know if I'm explaining that good. I do recommend looking at a not less braid tutorial so you can see what I'm talking about. But that's how I make it look seamless. And this one, I should have break it into two more parts, but I didn't. So it's a little bit chunky, but that's fine. And make sure you're braiding the, this as tight as possible. I braided it kind of loose, so that made it even more big. But if you braid it as tight as possible, it's going to be like more stiff. So I'm going to braid this all the way down. And I love this. It was extra long and jumbo. So if you're into this extra long and jumbo ponytail type look, I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope it helped you. If it did, don't forget to like this video. Please comment down below so I can know that you enjoyed this part of the video. I am going to be doing my makeup in this video. It's a no foundation look. So if you're interested in that, please stay tuned. It's coming up right now so this is how long the braid is and i like it it's so pretty and this is how my edges look this is so pretty comment thumbs up this video if you're liking it so far subscribe and turn on your post notifications all right you guys so for, hopefully you can't hear the fan but for my quick makeup look i like to just put on my it's basically the same foundation routine without the foundation so i'm gonna use my smashbox photo finish primer and then i'm gonna go up go on top of it with my orange corrector i'm gonna mix the orange corrector with my ella girl pro concealer and fawn and i'm gonna color all the dark spots all over my face and that's gonna be the base for it and then i'm gonna go on top of it again with the same concealer just to give it more of a skin like look so I'm going to play that with some music so you guys can see that visual, but that's exactly what I'm going to be doing. You say you fun like work. Cause don't nobody like work. Ooh, uh. Said you want to feel like 
it's your birthday all day You said you wanna feel like it's your birthday all day Said you wanna feel like it's your birthday all day Said you wanna feel like it's your birthday all day You know I got love for you I'ma do what I does for you Everything lies for you I can never get enough for you Now I'm gonna put my Hello Halo highlight and then I'm gonna go above it with the concealer. Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation stick in the color earth and I like to use that just to give me a soft contour and this one you don't have to set it just because just because it's like more of a skin like look we're going for we're doing light contour smooth powder in the color earth i'm gonna use this to set my face because i'm going for a more natural look and not really like a highlighted look Um, I'm gonna go in with my Juvia's Place, the Magic Mini Palette, and I'm gonna use my favorite orange shades right here. And I'm gonna use that as a blush on my cheeks and everywhere else that I wanna put it. I start from the top area and go down. I would say to use like a more fluffy brush, but I'm using a foundation brush. And I like this because this pulls the whole makeup look together, but don't overdo it because then you're gonna look like a clown. My Juvia's Place Warrior Palette. And I'm going to be using this brown shade right here. And I'm going to put that on my lid just because I want a very natural look. I'm not going for anything too crazy. So, oh, I should do my eyebrows. I almost forgot. I don't put any makeup on my eyebrows just because they're so thick. I just leave them to grow out now because I've really been in love with my natural eyebrows. So, I haven't been cutting them or anything. I'm just leaving them to grow out. Using my same LA Girl Pro Concealer and Fawn. 
girl, boy, you have no loss Find the more you looking when you can boss Wanna chew with me for the summertime But I only come alive in the nighttime Oh, yeah, she got a body like Oh, yeah, she woke up in a room now Oh, yeah, she got a body like You're gonna leave the hundred your breath I'ma hold you down, never neglect Treat you right, like you never left Hold me close, cause I really wanna know If you be putting on a show Motor when he hit me with a so for some reason i stopped talking so i'm just gonna go go in with the same juvia's place warrior palette and i'm gonna go ahead and use that brown shade it's kind of like a tan shade for black people <laughs> i'm gonna use that all over my lids just to give me that this burnt like tan look and i'm putting it underneath my eyes as well using a bh cosmetics fluffy brush and i'm gonna use that other shade at the top in the middle and i'm gonna use that as my tear duct highlight and also my brow bone highlight The Glam Glizzy Gloss in the color brown and I'm gonna use that to glossy up my lip my lids because I'm going for a brown glossy lid and I feel like it having that little tan gloss in it the tan brown in it it makes it look so good I like this thumbs up thumbs up this video if you're liking it so far I really tried to do my best with giving you guys some summer tropical looks and I feel like this is a really nice 2021 summer tropical look so yeah and this is how it's looking. I'm going ahead and I'm putting on my mascara. I'm using this um, Lash Paradise mascara I got from CVS. And I'm, I don't like this one because it's waterproof. So it's really hard to take off. But it's cute. And I'm not wearing no lashes today. I'm just wearing my normal lashes. And yeah. And I'm just taking my time putting this on because if I try to do it too fast, I'm clearly met. You see how I mess up. And a little tip for if you ever put mascara on your eyelids, just like wait till it dries and scrape it off with a clean makeup brush. It works like a charm. I'm going in with my MAC lip liner in the color Chestnut and I'm going to put it to line my lips. I love this liner. It's giving me very much 90s vibes, but you guys know this is the same lip combination I always use. I'm going to blend that in with my finger and then I'm going to go in with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color London. And this is the only color I'm going to be using today. And I'm just going to blend that in really, really nicely just to give me a natural Bratz doll lip. And I'm going to go in with my same Glam Glizzy Gloss in the color Clear. I use this all the time for years. And that's basically the look. I'm just going to take off my scarf and this is how the hair is looking. My hair looks so nice. I think, I think this look came out even better than I thought. Let me know if you're liking this look down below. And as you can see, the edge control literally made my hair white. So I did go ahead and fix that. I literally just used some water and I fixed that. But this is the look and I'm going to be wearing the label Muse from my girl Mochi. I believe that's her name. <laughs> but this is her brand. It's a really new brand. I'm going to leave the link to this outfit down down below so you guys can check her out i'm not sure if she's sold out but this is the looks that we're giving for 2021 summer i love this it is so cute it is big girl friendly and my stomach is fat but this looks good thumbs up this video if you think this video came out nice let me know if you guys like it what other videos you want to see i really enjoyed making this video for y'all i love this ponytail let me know if you guys love this thick jumbo braided ponytail it's so beautiful let me know if you tried this look before this is my first time doing a jumbo ponytail ever but yeah let me know if you guys enjoyed this and i will definitely see you in my next one Cause she the baddest of the bad, the baddest on the gram Shorty made the bullets at the club go am Always on small, she don't need to go down Fuckin' with me heavy cause she know that I'm Grabbing, I'm grabbing, if nigga shootin' no stabbing I don't F with my new one, got my hands on the mat and can I Like magic, I make the man them go static And if they do in the madness, I make the madness in tragic I like, ah, 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 faded, faded, ah, ah Shorty, I'm me wasted, wasted